In this week's episode, I introduce you to Canva. I share a list of people I think you should follow on Snapchat. And I share with you what I got in the mail this weekend. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. I've been using an online service lately that has actually made doing some graphic work so much easier. It's called Canva. Now it's spelled C-A-N-V-A. <laughs> Funny thing is autocorrect's been fighting me on this word, wants to keep making it canvas. No, it's C-A-N-V-A. Seriously, all week I've been fighting this. <laughs> and it's saying Canva, C-A-N-V-A. You got it, iOS? C-A-N-V-A. And you can find it at canva.com. Canva is a free cloud-based service that lets you easily create beautiful graphics and documents. It's available on the web and as an iOS app. Now, there is a paid tier for some team features, and they do sell some graphical elements but practically everything else is free to use at canva.com. Have you seen those quote images shared on Instagram? You know, the ones with a famous quotation on a generic background that is practically shared everywhere on social media. Well, you can quickly and easily create one of those in Canva. It's so simple that I'm going to walk you through the steps to create one of those kind of images. Now, first off, we've got to have a quote. <laughs> So I'm going to another service called BrainyQuote. That's at BrainyQuote.com. And I'm going to pull up a random Will Rogers quote. Ah, oh, here's a good one. Live in such a way that you would not be ashamed to sell your parrot to the town gossip. Will Rogers. Okay, now let's go to Canva.com. It only takes a few moments to set up an account if you haven't done so already. Otherwise, just log in. Oh, and you can use Google or Facebook to do the logging in. <laughs> On the left, just below your name, is a big red button that says Create a Design. Click it. Now on the right, you'll be shown a page full of ready-made designs. Click on the one that says Social Media. It should be the first one in the list. This will automatically set up for us a 800 by 800 pixel image for us to use. The perfect size for sharing on Facebook and Instagram. Now on the right, after you've clicked on that, you should see a big white square. That's the image we're going to edit on. And on the left, you'll see a toolbar. And if it's not already selected, click on the Layouts button. Now just to the right of that toolbar, you'll see a list of pre-made layouts. You don't have to use any of these to work on your graphic. You could do everything from scratch. But for the sake of this very quick tutorial, I'm going to select one of these pre-made layouts. Oh, please note, some of these layouts cost money, but they have plenty of free ones to select from. Skim down the list and you'll find a nice free one. It's a picture of a field with a mountain in the background and big white text in the center of it. Click on that. And when you do, your big white scare, uh, square on the right, on the right we'll learn to talk today, um, we'll autofill with that image and that quotation. We're almost done. Seriously. Now, click on the quote text in the center in your big square. The uh, text should highlight, and above your big square, near the top of the page, you should see a new toolbar that has font options, bold, italics, some other options. We're not going to play with any of those right now. Yet now that you've got your text highlighted, delete all that text and type in our Will Rogers quote. Okay, when we're done with there, click on the name at the bottom of that graphic and change it to Will Rogers. That's it. We're done. Seriously, if we wanted to use that background image, we're ready to go. Now, of course, you can change that background image. You can change the font. You can change the colors. You can add more elements. You can do whatever you want. For our example, we're going to stop here. Now, on the top right of the uh, website, 
you're going to see a big button that says download. Click on it and you can download the image we just created. And that image is ready for you to share on all your social media platforms. For matter of fact, the Will Rogers quote I just created, I saved it, I transferred it to my iPhone, and I posted it to uh, Blog Oklahoma's Instagram account. That was easy. <laughs> this was a very simplistic example because you can do way more than that in, in Canva. <laughs> now, for this last week, I've been using it to prototype uh, some print advertising for the uh, company I work for. And it turned out so well, we actually exported a high quality of that and we're going to use it in our print advertising. I mean, it's that versatile. It'll let you do a lot of the work. Uh, if you need to create a uh, banner image for a blog post, use Canva. Now, normally I would do all this stuff in Photoshop. And if I want to do fine detail like add shadows and lines and things like that, I'm going to go to Photoshop. But for doing nice, easy, quick graphics, I'm going to start doing all this stuff in Canva. Well, there you have it. Something for your online toolbox that's free to use, is powerful, and will let you create graphics on the fly. That's Canva. This week's Blog Oklahoma writing suggestion is to, well, not exactly write something this time. Why don't you build your own quotation graphic in Canva and post it to your blog? I'd love to see what you come up with. Are you someone who blogs in or about Oklahoma? Then you already qualify for WebRing membership. Join Blog Oklahoma today. Want to know more about Blog Oklahoma? Then just explore the WebRing and discover some of the best blogs and podcasts in the nation. Just visit blogoklahoma.com for more information. Here are the top five storytellers on Snapchat I recommend you follow. I've been promising this list for a while now. <laughs> Number five, Joe Wilson. Number four, Destin of Smarter Every Day. Number three, Baratunde Thurston. Number two, Evo Terra. And number one, Emily at Little Baby Farm. Now, if you read the show notes at blogoklahoma.net with your phone, you'll be able to click on each of these names and add them to your list on Snapchat. And also, hey, don't forget to follow me, Program Witch, on Snapchat. Who knows, I might start posting again any day now. <laughs> An important date is getting closer every day, and that is October 14th. That is the last day you can register to vote for the November 8th general election in Oklahoma. For details, please visit ok.gov slash elections. Please register to vote. Very important this year. This weekend, I received in the mail something I ordered during the summer. That is my very own pocket edition of the Constitution of the United States of America. This handy little document is something every American should read. It is the foundation of our country and of which all of our laws have been built. You can order these pocket editions from just about any bookstore, including Amazon. I receive mine for free from the ACLU. And as of the time I'm recording this podcast, the ACLU are still giving away free pocket constitutions. I will provide a link in the show notes so you can get one for yourself. And I thank the ACLU for providing this important pocket edition to everyone. Did you know we have our own cafe press store? Of course you did. You listen every episode. <laughs> well, wait, you're new here, aren't you? Oh, hey, we have our own cafe press store. There you can purchase a t-shirt, coffee mug, and other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on them. So please head on over to cafepress.com slash blog Oklahoma podcast. I've added even more great music to the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist. There is now well over 12 hours of music for you to enjoy. You can listen to this playlist on Spotify and on YouTube. I have links to them and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. And thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast.
I'm happy to announce as of September 18th, 2016, Blog Oklahoma has 909 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time.